All right, everyone, it has been two weeks since my last vlog post. Um, I'm sure you guys have all been anticipating my next video. <laughs> um, today, we just went out and um, did the typical stuff in the morning, watered the nursery, um, Tyler watered the garden, and then um, we went out into the X field and we um, checked on our irrigation lines for any leaks. And then if we did find a leak, which I did find like 10 different leaks throughout the field, um, you have to like cut the line and then put a connector on it. And it was actually a lot of fun. I wanted to take a video doing it, but I just didn't have my phone on me and I was too, I was too motivated to get it done. So I'll definitely like get a video of that at some point. Cause it's kind of interesting, like how you do it and just what goes into everything here. Um, but yeah, it's been a really busy last two weeks. So hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. Okay, so this is kind of random, but I'm sitting here making this video right now, and like we have this like the outdoor eating area, and I just watched, I watched a mongoose chase a mouse out of this area right here, and then the mongoose went and ran right back under that area over there. So hopefully I don't get attacked by a mongoose while I make this video. <laughs> it's crazy. For the vlog. For the vlog or the vlog? I don't know. All the above. That's Alyssa. We got Alyssa, we got Courtney, we got our heads in the clouds. got done making lines. I'll input a video of that in the future. Maybe right now. Who knows? I don't know when I'll take it. <laughs> We're going to Lahaina. Okay everybody so I just want to fill you in on a reality of um, life here at the farm. So we haven't had great um, energy here from the sun <laughs> um, for the last couple of days. So we currently um, haven't been able to charge our phones. Um, the lights aren't working. Um, can't make smoothies, you know, <laughs> you know, all the, all the classic necessities of life can't do them right now which is okay um it just happens though that courtney has a very bougie rental car so we're currently sitting mom whip. her mom whip we are currently <laughs> sitting in here charging our phones because we are still we, what, i don't know we still need our cell phone <laughs> which we could let them go we'll be fine but um <laughs> courtney might disagree but yeah so this is just a reality of it for all the pictures I post and all the stuff that looks great, like we do not have like modern day necessities. Grid. We are, as soon as we lose our solar panel mm -hmm. charging abilities, we are completely off grid pretty much. Unless somebody has a car like this <laughs> just sitting here, but this is a rare occurrence. So um, today we have some stuff going on. We're going to help two different farmers out today. Um, one of them is here on the 300 acre easement that we have. Um, we don't have it, but um, it's managed by local Hawaiians here in the Central Valley. And so we are going to help out a fellow farmer here on the easement. And then we are going to go to, what's the town called? Uh, Wailea called? McKenna. We're going to go to Wailea McKenna. McKenna? It's like Wailea Dash McKenna. Wailea Dash McKenna. We're gonna go there to um, 
help out a guy named Tim on his farm. So I will input some videos of us there as well. Um, but thank you all. Goodbye. Today we're helping out um, another farmer here. He's on the south side of the island. Um, I'm going to show you guys around just kind of what it looks like here. It's a lot different than um, our situation up in the Central Valley. Um, definitely a lot less wind. Um, they grow a lot more citrus trees and um, they have a, I'd say a bit bigger of a bee situation by the looks of it right here. Um, some pretty cool stuff they got going on. So I'll give you a little tour of that here shortly. <laughs> works is that like one row is like actually the plants like is either papaya um avocado or mango and then the next row is just like well, what would you say just like like a random fixture yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's just like, yeah, there you go. I was like, I was like, what's yeah. Um, so yeah, so these are kind of like the orchards that we worked on a bit so far. There's obviously some random plants every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. You can see pineapple. Wow, look at that turmeric. big guy. <laughs> <laughs> look at Pineapples that. actually that take two years to make. It's kind of crazy. Two years. Two years yeah. for one pineapple. Two years yeah. for one pineapple. <laughs> This is cassava right here. That is cassava. This is cassava. <laughs> that is cassava. <laughs> I'm making the dorkiest video documentary you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll Look at the little everywhere. pineapples. Oh my god. Do you guys have a lot of lava rock too? Or is nope. your side no? Oh, it's no. pretty dope. No lava rock in La Cahaya. Oh, that was a big bird. Yeah, a lot of game birds. It is currently 8 o'clock here on Maui. Nothing too interesting um, going on this morning. We're going to be going to um, what they call the Kihei House, um, which is just the owner's house over in Kihei. Um, and we're going to be making tortillas that... Um, we make out of our kalo and so it's going to be my first day really being a part of that process um apparently shouldn't be a super hard day So my first Hawaiian National Park. So it is pretty beautiful <laughs> here today at the Haleakala Summit. Um, Haleakala is 28,000 feet above the sea floor. So here's what we just did. Um, we went through this entire line. You can almost see all the way down there. Um, and we just cleared off um, the dead leaves and then just laid it down. We just chop and drop so we don't um, just get rid of those good nutrients that are still in these leaves here. Um, we readjusted our water line just so it was up against the, the stalks a little bit more. Um, made sure it wasn't just like it was kind of laying in the middle before so we just went through and put it close to the base um a lot of what we did was just like going through and um like we would cut up the leaves like that just kind of taking off this leaf could probably get cut so i'll kind of show you you just kind of go through and we cut that off um apparently some other farmers only leave three leaves on their banana trees, um, which as you can see, we don't really do by that method, but 
apparently they prosper with just three, so a lot of people do that as well. Um, but yeah, so we just cleaned up the base of the stalk there and cut off a bunch of the dead leaves just so they weren't using up nutrients anymore. Clear out this walkway some. Keep your own motorboat. As you can see, I'm nice and covered in, in dirt. Um, this is what the flower of the banana tree looks like. You can see we have a lot of bees in there doing their thing. Thank you. Got some, some young bananas. There's a really big flower up here that I'm gonna show you. Ow, I just hit one with my head, but there's one. There's just a lot of meat walking in. Oh, there it is. Right here. Look at this flower. That thing is huge. Those guys are down there cutting up some, some stalks. But we have some taro fields over here. I'd say this is like one of our main things pretty much. Um, this is Kahlo, the Hawaiian taro. And there's a bunch of different varieties in there. I'm not really sure which is which quite yet. Hopefully over time I get more familiar with them. So we have a lot of fields. Tyler's in there with his machete. This is another thing that we did a couple days, maybe a week ago. Is so we laid down this, um, this mulch. Just to break down, like I said earlier, they're gonna drop some tomorrow. Um, but you get like a foot or so layer of this and then you um, go in with your hands since we are a regenerative farm we don't till because tilling just strips the soil of all its um, microbes and um, strips it of all the nutrients in the soil pretty much so we go through with our hands and so you can kind of imagine we do this entire field right here so I'll give you a little view of what it looks like. <laughs> I wonder if you can see me. So, literally, you have your gloves on, and you're just going down like this, and just clearing with your hands. And you have to get all the way down to the soil. And you do this down the whole line. <laughs> and so, that's, um, that's one of the less fun jobs, I'd say. Um, you got another one right here.